Hello and welcome to Freedom Boat Club of Northern Virginia. My name is Dusty and I'm your membership executive for the Woodbridge, Stafford, Lake Anna and Richmond locations. And today I just wanted to make a quick video here to kind of explain what's in our welcome email and to give you a rundown on uh, the club. I'm going to cover the basics and some common questions that we get. Um, and I'm going to walk, as I'm talking, I'm going to just walk around and kind of film some of the boats that are here at our Woodbridge location. Uh, that way you don't just have to stare at my face the entire time. Um, so I'll, when I get to the boats, I'll actually explain what they are, but I'm just going to walk around so you guys can kind of look and see what we have here at the Woodbridge Club while I cover these topics. So what is Freedom Boat Club? Basically, Freedom Boat Club is a members only club. We buy and maintain all these brand new boats. Uh, like the Sea Ray, for example, that's probably 60 to 70,000 just for that one boat right there. But here at the club, you know, we've got 15 of those just here at Woodbridge. So I'm probably surrounded by, I don't know, close to $2 million worth of boats right now. Um, so that just gives you an idea of, you know, what value you have access to just at one of our locations. Um, so Freedom Boat Club gives you unlimited boating at your home group. So in our case, that would be here, Woodbridge at the Belmont Bay, the Stafford location down at Hope Springs Marina, uh, Lake Anna at the Anna Point Marina, and then our newest club is in Richmond at the Rockets Landing. So those four clubs are gonna be your unlimited use locations, but membership does include reciprocal access to all of our other clubs, and there's 360 and growing. There's reciprocal clubs near our area. There's three down in Virginia Beach, and there's a bunch of clubs in Maryland, Delaware, and even a small club or two in the DC area. Um, how does it all work? So basically, as a member, you'll have access to an online reservation portal. You'll just log into the portal. You're gonna click a boat that you wanna use on the day you wanna use it. It's gonna give you a couple time options, either half days or full days. You're going to click the exact boat you want at the exact time you want to use it. And when you get here, it's clean, fueled, and ready to go. So you'll just check in with staff, hop on the boat, and take off. And when you're on your way back to the marina, you'll alert the staff, radio, or via cell phone. And they will be standing here waiting to help you get docked back up. Now, the boats themselves, everything in Freedom Boat Club has to be a newer boat. We're only allowed to keep these for four years as an, at a max. Most of the boats here we're looking at are all 2021 and 2022s. So you could be in this club, you know, for a decade and you're always going to have new boats to use because we're constantly refreshing and growing the fleet as needed. Training, doesn't matter if you're an experienced boat captain or if you're completely new to boating, we've got you covered in either case. All new members will go through our initial training, which is quick and easy to do. It's a combination of online training that you do yourself, and then you're actually gonna do hands-on training here with a captain. Um, all that can be done three to five business days, depending on the club location, but we'll get you trained and out here on the water real fast. Insurance is included in the membership. So all new members have insurance. Um, Basically small stuff, you pay as you go, you know, you lose a seat cushion, something like that. In the event that you were to accidentally total or crash a boat, so this fish tune here, for example, um, that's probably another $60,000, $70,000 boat. If you were to destroy this, uh, you do not have to replace that boat. Your maximum out of pocket is actually the deductible on our insurance, which is $2,500. So that's kind of like your worst case uh, scenario. But insurance is there to protect members. And you can get with me if you want like a detailed breakdown of that policy. Uh, locations, I touched that earlier. You'll have unlimited boating here at our four home clubs, Woodbridge, Stafford, Lake Anna, and Richmond. Membership does include reciprocal access to the other 360 plus locations. Freedomboatclub.com actually shows all of those plotted on the map. So that's a great resource if you just wanna see all the clubs. Uh, so when you join the club, yourself and a spouse are included as the actual members. So you can both be trained, 
you can both drive the boats and you're the members so as long as one of you is driving there's no charge for your guest so most of these boats hold 10 to 12 people as long as one of you is driving feel free to bring all your guests there's no charge for them to be on the boat um, freedom boat club has no lock-in contracts or time commitments of any sort so when you join the club it's a one-time fee which you can see further down in the email that's our normal pricing that one-time fee gets you in for life then you pay your monthly dues as long as you're in the club if you ever decide you need to leave the club you just give a 60-day notice or if you get too busy to use the club you can always pause your account the minimum pause is for one year but you can freeze it for longer if needed during the pause period, your monthly dues will actually reduce down to $50 per month. So a year or longer, you can pause if you need to. Once you unpause, everything goes back to normal. Now for fueling, uh, members do pay for fuel. It's market rate plus a $5 convenience fee, but we do not require you to bring the boat back full. When you have a reservation and you get here, the dock staff will already have your boat clean, fueled, and ready to go. Uh, you just bring it back when you're done and they'll bill you for whatever fuel you used. You put a card on file with me when you join, that's where your fuel will go by default. Um, overnighting, we do allow overnighting in the club. What that means is if you wanted to keep one of these boats overnight somewhere, you can certainly do that. You just have to plan and coordinate that in advance with the club. I believe they want a 72 hour notice, so you'll plan it with us. We're gonna to wanna to know where you're gonna dock the boat and some things like that. It's possible, you just need to coordinate it with us. And remember, if you're overnighting, the boat still needs to be docked at a hard dock, just like these are, prior to dark. So you can't actually boat out on the water after dark, but if you have an overnight slip or a rental property or you're up in the city and you have a slip reserved, you can overnight, you just have to have it docked prior to dark. Another common question I get is, are pets allowed in the club? Uh, the club is very pet friendly. Every boat here will allow pets, except for the cabin cruiser. So over here, we actually have two of these big 27 foot cruisers. These boats are special in the fleet in that they're separate from the reservation system. And this big boat right here is the only one that has any sort of extra charge. So the cabin cruiser is separate from the reservation system and it's the only boat with the day charge. The cabin cruiser is $200 currently for the day. That may change in the future, but as of right now, it's 200 for the day. So that cruiser is the only boat with any sort of extra charge, 200 a day for the cabin cruiser. Uh, just to recap, Freedom Boat Club, we're buying and maintaining all these brand new boats. Each club is maintaining a 10 to 1 ratio, so your boat availability is always the same. Monday through Friday is kind of like this. I'm filming, I believe this is a Tuesday, and you can see most of the boats, even on a sunny day, are just sitting here. So Monday through Friday is generally wide open. Weekends, you do need to plan a week, sometimes two weeks out. Not always here at Woodbridge, because it is a large club and we have economy of scale on our side. There's nearly 40 boats here. But at our other locations like Stafford, Richmond, and Lake Anna, they're still uh, on the smaller side with five to seven boats each. Um, so those are kind of more your typical availability. Still generally wide open Monday through Friday, but you definitely need to plan a week, sometimes two weeks out for a weekend reservation. Holiday weekends like the 4th of July, Memorial Day, maybe a little further out. But in this email, if you actually scroll down past the pricing section, I do have our login credentials where you can log into the guest reservation system and that's real-time data. So as long as we're open, you know, if you're watching this between April and September, that portal will be open and you can see the availability at every location in real time. So you just log into that reservation portal, pick a day, pick a location, and it will show you the real-time availability for the boats at that club. If it's after September, that reservation portal is going to close because our local clubs are closed, but it will open back up in March. Um, any questions on that reservation system or anything we've covered in this video, just feel free to reach out. 
And a lot of this information is further down in the email. I just wanted to do a video to make it easy for some of you. Uh, if you might be driving or if you just prefer to have it briefed to you. So any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I work seven days a week. I'm retired from the military now, so this is pretty much all I do uh, is the boat club and maybe play the occasional frisbee golf game. It just depends. But if you have any questions or you'd like to get started in the club, please respond to this email or send me a text. Uh, either way, I look forward to meeting you and getting you guys out on the water. Take care.